Hey, you want to learn something useful? Come on, let's go. Hi, this is Chris at My Handyman. And I want to teach you all those little jobs and chores around the house that I know that you can do without calling for help. Today what we're going to do is we're going to mud a seam. Two pieces of drywall are here. I, I made this platform. And here's the seam. And what you do is, is you put mud and tape and then mud. Now mud is drywall compound. Comes in a five gallon bucket. And in your case, it's a smaller job. If you're doing a smaller job, it comes in a one gallon bucket. It costs about $5. So what I wanted to show you was, before we went ahead and mud this, is when these are put together, they're put together good side to good side. And what that means is, when you buy drywall, One of the sides has got a paper coating all the way around it. It also has a little indentation here. So what I've done here is I'm going to zoom in on this for you so you can see what I'm, what I'm talking about. I made a little, demo, a little diagram here. The drywall comes across like this here. And then it dips down like this. Okay, and then it, the other sheet has the same kind of indentation like this, and then here's the other side of the drywall. Now what happens is, is I'm going to fill this area, this gap, with mud, and then I'm going to put a piece of paper tape over top of that, and I'll show you what that is, and then we put more mud over top of it and feather it out. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill my pan with mud with my, with my uh, circle knife here and I'm going to get enough mud in the pan for the job. I'm not going to overdo it. I'm not going to fill my pan loaded with mud because that's not going to benefit anybody. It's just more cleanup and we don't want more cleanup now, do we? All right. That should do the job. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my four inch knife and I'm going to fill this gap that, we sh that I showed you earlier. Why I'm doing that is because I want to fill this little ridge that's coming down here. There's a slight opening. Sometimes there's an opening. Sometimes it's nice and tight. In this case, I made it just a little bit open so you can see it a little bit better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fluff this just a little bit just like we've done last time because we've done these videos before. Okay, so I'm going to take some of my mud and I'm going to smash it into, into, the, into the groove. Okay, and it doesn't take much to do. You smash it in, spread it around a little bit. Smash it in, spread it around a little bit. Smash it in, spread it around a little bit. So it's not, it's not that hard to do. Okay. All right. Sure does look like it's gobbed on there now, doesn't it? Now, I don't want to put my paper tape on top of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take now my six inch knife and I'm going to go one swipe down. And I'm going to show you, it'll show you then where these, uh, where this, where this gap shows here on the diagram here. Now watch this. I'm going to go like this. All right, now I'm going to pull this over so you can see it. Because this is, you can see that the gap has filled. See that? This whole area in here is just, is filled now. So what we're going to do now, while this is wet, we're going to take our tape and we're going to run it straight down. So I'm measuring it out. Okay, there we go. And I'm going to rip it off. And I'm going to put it on right down the center. Right like that. And then I'm going to, what I do is I run my fingers straight down, just like that. 
just to make sure that there's no bubbles, no creases, nothing. Make sure everybody's at, uh, sticking to where it's supposed to stick and everything looks good. Now what we do is we put another layer of mud on top of this. I'm still using my six inch knife. I'm going to go across like I did before. Just smooth it out. Just like that, just smooth it out. Put it across like that and then smooth it out. Put it across like that and then smooth it out. Still looks gobby on there and it's supposed to because I'm not ready, not ready to feather it out yet. Okay, and there we go. Okay, now I got, now I've got a bunch of mud on there that I have to, to clean off. All right, now this is where I'm going to use my eight inch knife. I could use my six inch knife again, but I want a nice clean swipe going down. And it doesn't really matter what size knife you use. I could use my 10 inch knife on this if I wanted to, but I would rather, I would rather use the eight. Now, same, same thing that we did before. Remember the control thing we did? Two fingers. All right, so here we go. One swipe, it's gonna take one swipe. There, that's it. Now I'm just gonna wait for, now I'm just gonna wait for that to dry and we'll take a look at it and put on the second coat. That's all there is to it. It's, it's easier, it's really easier than, than it looks. So it's, I think you're gonna do fine. When this is dry, I'll be back. All right, we're back and we're gonna take our eight inch knife and we're just gonna float over top of this to see if there's any high ridges and knock them down. That looks good. So what we're going to do next is we're going to take our 8 inch knife and I've got the mud in the pan and we're going to put on our second coat. Now everything, you can see that there's, there's uh, the mud had receded just a little bit. This is exactly what we expected and now we're basically filling it in and we're going to start to feather it probably out to here and here. All right, so let's, let's put that on. So fluff it up just a little bit. I've got a little bit too much on here, so I'm going to clip, clip like that, and I'm going to start at the top. Equal pressure on both sides of the knife, and go straight down. Put a little bit more on there. Clip, clip, and I'm going to start at the bottom, and I'm going to work my way up. And. Put some more mud on the knife. Start at the top on the other side and go straight down. Clip, clip. I'm gonna start at the bottom and I'm gonna work my way up. I'm a little spotty here, so I'm gonna do it again with a little bit more mud. There we go. All right. So I think I've got a sufficient amount of mud on there right now. So what I'm going to do is, because it's kind of globby here, and all I did was just mash it on. So I don't want to leave this like this to dry because again, I'm going to be sanding like crazy and our objective is, is to make it look good with as little sanding as possible. So I'm going to use our technique like we did before. Two fingers out on the blade, hand around the ha uh, put your hand around the handle, and I'm going to put a little bit more pressure on the left hand side and just right on the right hand side. Okay, so watch that. All I'm doing is gliding. I'm not removing a lot. All I'm doing is gliding down with a little bit of pressure, make it nice and even flow. A nice even flow. And it is good. That's it. That's coat number two. When this is dry, we'll come back and take a look at it. Probably knock down any high stuff that we've got. 
and put on our probably our third and final coat, but we'll take a look at it. Might need more. You never know. We'll be back. All right, we're back. So let's take a look and see how our second coat looks. It looks really nice. Now we've got some rough edges here on the side, so I'm gonna, now I'm gonna be using my 10 inch knife on this. And you can certainly use your eight inch knife. It doesn't make a difference, but I'm gonna use my 10 inch knife because now what I wanna do is I wanna feather out just a little bit further on both sides of the middle seam. So I'm just gonna go like this, knock down any high spots, like that. Like that. And now we're ready to apply our third coat of mud. All right, so let's take a look. I've already got the mud in the pan, so we're all set there. I'm gonna fluff it just a little bit like we normally do. See how I'm holding the knife? Two fingers on the blade. All right, I'm gonna pinch off a little here, chop off a little bit there, just have the mud right down the center of the knife. And I'm gonna start at the top. I'm gonna start at the top and I wanna feather it on the left hand side, so I'm gonna put more pressure on the left hand finger, the left finger. And we're gonna start at the top and I'm just gonna gob that mud on there so we can go back and feather it nice, okay? And up, and let's start here. See how I'm going out just a little bit more, just about an inch or so. There we go. See how the 10 inch knife comes in handy with that? Two big swipes, nice and wide. That's why I use it. All right, up the center. Just to cover everything. Now, the mud is got down there pretty well. All right. Now we're gonna use our technique to take it off. The further into the coats you go, this is the third coat, the finer you wanna get this. So let's start on the Right hand side, I'm going to put more pressure on my right finger, still guiding with the left finger, and I'm going to feather off the left hand side, or the right hand side. Let's do the left side, same thing. More pressure on the left hand, left finger, so I can feather that edge. And I took off a lot of mud. All right, let's go down the center. Equal pressure on both fingers. Nice and easy. Okay, now because we're trying to dress this up nice, we're gonna go over it one more time. I'm going to Put more pressure on the right finger. I'm on this side, now I'm gonna put more pressure on the left finger. And I'm gonna go easy down the center. Just dress it up at the bottom a little bit. And it looks good. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to let this dry. We're going to come back when it's dry. We're going to give it, it looks like a possible final sanding and then you can prime and paint. We'll be back.
Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, we're back, and this looks great. The third coat looks really nice. I just did a very light sanding along the edges, and it took less than a minute to get it done. All I got to do now is just go across here and see what kind of, if there's any high spots or anything. It looks great. It's a good job. All that's left really to do now is just grab a rag, get it nice and damp, not wet, wipe it over, get rid of all of this drywall dust that's on here, prime and paint. You can do this. Step by step, you can do this. Don't let anybody ever tell you you can't do it. Just have them, if they can do it, you can do it. Just have them show you how. Please, please subscribe, please subscribe, please subscribe. Hit that button down there. I think it's over here or wherever it is down there, that little red thing with the arrow on it. But please subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video.